Hey guys, welcome back to my channel and if you're new, I'm Jessica Christine and I make videos about lifestyle, self-help, self-development, fragrances, cruelty-free cosmetics, veganism, all good stuff, a bunch more. Um, in today's video, I'm going to be doing my product review for all of my empties over the past few months and so these are products that I have used up completely and really gotten a good feel of um, whether I like them or not and I thought that it would be very beneficial to share them with you um, I know that some of you love seeing these videos so over the past few months you guys have definitely seen this product pop up a few times <laughs> for sure and you're probably gonna see it pop up like more than ever right now so <laughs> I have four empties of the same thing because that's how absolutely obsessed I am of this stuff. Um, it is the Yes 2 brand, the Yes 2 Fragrance Free Daily Cream Facial Cleanser on the carrots side. So it's Yes 2 Carrots. They have Yes to Cucumber, Yes to Carrots, Yes to This, Yes to That. So they have a bunch of different vegetable names. But the Yes to Carrots Facial Cleanser in Fragrance Free, which is vegan, is absolutely incredible. I have no need to switch over to any other facial cleanser. Let me give you a little background of my skin. My skin is typically very dry, especially in the summertime. So, I do not have oily skin whatsoever. Um, this is perfect for dry skin, for getting your makeup off quick and easily. You don't have to rub hard, it's just great. And it's an all natural product. It is perfect. Highly, highly recommend this facial cleanser. The next product that I am obviously clearly obsessed with, I, <laughs> I went through four of these as well. These are the Giovanni Tangerine and Papaya Butter Ultra Volume Shampoo. Now let me give you a little background of my hair. My hair is not normal. <laughs> um, I have a very oily scalp and a very dry ends on my hair, which is unfortunate when I'm buying shampoo and conditioner. But I always go with an ultra volume shampoo. That is a little tip and trick um, that is good for if you have very oily hair, very oily scalp, stuff like that. Go with the volume uh, sulfate free shampoo and that's exactly what this is. It is vegan as well, cruelty free, all that. So highly recommend if you're looking for a good volumizing shampoo if you have oily hair. The next empties I have, I also clearly love. I went through three of these. These are the Derma E Hydrating Night Cream. Now, like I said, I have very dry skin, so I always, always 100% go for hydrating um, skincare items. And Derma E is sold at Whole Foods. It used to be sold at Target, but I can't find it anywhere near me anymore. This is a gr great night cream. It is so moisturizing. It will leave your skin baby soft when you wake up, and I highly recommend it to you. <laughs> you can buy it at Whole Foods. And I went through a couple of deodorants, and I will give you my opinion on both of them. The Jason Purifying Tea Tree Deodorant Stick um, is natural and it's vegan. I was not a fan of this at all. It got really gross and really like glump, like clumpy and um, didn't really smell that great after a while. Like I feel like it smells good in this, but then when you put it on your skin, it like changes and doesn't really smell that good. I don't really know how to explain that. Um, so I would not buy this again. Maybe it works for some of you. If you've tried this and it works for you, let me know in the comments because maybe like mine was just old or bad or something. Like I don't know, but didn't really work for me, honestly. However, the um, La Vanilla Sport Lux Vanilla Breeze deodorant is my ride or die deodorant. And I have said this in past empty videos. Um, I don't feel the need to you know, try another deodorant because this one just works out so well for me. It really is just such a clean, sweet scent and um, stays on you longer than any natural deodorant I have ever used. And I buy this from Sephora and I probably like, I don't feel the need to switch to another 
deodorant um so i won't really buy another one but if you guys have any recommendations if you guys have tried this and you know of a better one than this let me know because of course i'm always open to trying better and new products um but if you guys are in the market for a good natural uh vegan deodorant this one is amazing so check it out um go figure i went through this aloe lotion because at the beginning of the summer let me tell ya <laughs> it was a rough one at the beach not like i'm really on any tanner than i was like in previous videos but um i am a little bit tanner so that's all that counts but i did get a hell of a burn at the beginning in the summer to say the least so this um aloe was vegan from ocean potion and it smelled really good it doesn't smell like um, aloe it is an aloe lotion and I would highly highly recommend it um, I would definitely buy this again I don't remember where I bought it but you can probably buy it at like Walgreens or something and I also went through um, two of these because I have another one that's empty in my bathroom right now um, the Dr. Bronner's peppermint all-in-one toothpaste which is my ride or die toothpaste at the moment it is vegan and it is normal in consistency and taste which is kind of hard to find in a vegan deodorant these days for some reason but uh, Dr. Bronner's which I bought at Whole Foods and they also sell at Target was a huge hit and this is the only toothpaste that I will use and it does not contain animal bone which is why it is vegan <laughs> For all of you asking doesn't contain any harmful ingredients either which is huge and yeah so um, if you're in the market for like a natural toothpaste definitely go with dr. Bronner's peppermint and I also finished I finished two setting sprays I finished the Mario Budescu um, this is a setting spray or just a refreshing spray in general I don't really know if I would consider this a, face, a setting spray it doesn't really consider itself one um, it's just their aloe um, and rose water spray facial spray so I think that this is more of like a rejuvenating hydrating spray that you can really put on throughout the day and it won't ruin your makeup um, it does help with setting your makeup a little bit, but I wouldn't exactly call it. Like, I don't think that's what it's pure purpose is for. Um, so if you're looking for, like, a spray in the summer to just, like, refresh your skin, a little boost, this is amazing, guys. I just bought the full one. And best news ever, in my previous video, I had said I would not repurchase this because Mario Badescu was not cruelty-free, but... Mario Videscu just recently went cruelty free which is amazing so I'm super excited and this product is vegan so you can go out and purchase all of your Mario Videscu products now and I'm super happy because it is such a great brand um, so I'm, I already repurchased this I can't wait to use more of it it's perfect if you have dry skin and then my favorite setting spray of all time is the Urban Decay All Nighter Makeup Setting Spray. And this stuff keeps your makeup on all day and night. It is like glue for the face, but it doesn't feel like glue. It feels like you have nothing on your face, except for when you first spray it. Let it dry down for about two minutes, and then it feels like you're you didn't just spray something on your face it's the greatest stuff ever um, it is vegan cruelty free urban decay is a great great cruelty free brand and they have a bunch of vegan options so definitely recommend this for a makeup setting spray I also went through because I have a beauty blender that I use to um, I use my beauty blender with my concealer that's how I buff it out on my face because I do use a full coverage concealer and sometimes that can look a little bit cakey but with the beauty blender it does not of course you need to clean your beauty blender and with that I use a um, the beauty blender cleanser solids which are I don't have any to show you because these are empty but it's a little tiny round soap um, thin soap that is specifically used for your beauty blender it works wonders it's the greatest thing ever I went through two of these and I have another one full in the bathroom um, and it comes with a little brush so it comes with this it's a little sponge and brush with holes in it and it helps you um, you just rub the beauty blender against it and it gets everything off easier with the soap so that's really helpful 
um, it's just a great product. So if you have a beauty blender or if you're in the market for one and you want one, definitely it's so 100% worth it to pick up the soap, the, the solids. They're really good. Other products I went through are these little travel size Smashbox photo finish primers. Um, these are really good to use. I actually have a full size one in my room, but yeah, these are these are really good. I have dry skin, so these worked really well um, before I put on my foundation. It kind of I wouldn't call this a hydrating. Um, this is not a hydrating primer, but it just smooths out your skin and makes your makeup go on so flawlessly, especially your foundation. So this used with another hydrating um, primer, which is what I did, worked really, really well. So I would highly recommend the Smashbox Photo Finish Primer, which is vegan. My favorite primer of all time is the Too Faced Hangover RX Primer. Now this is extremely moisturizing and perfect for dry skin. Um, it is replenishing, it's a replenishing facial primer with coconut water, probiotic based ingredients, and skin revivers. It's really good for you. It smells amazing. It smells like coconut water and it's, it's just a great, great primer. And I just opened a new one now. So um, I, I'm not really in the market for a new primer right now because I have this one. So, and this is vegan as well. I went through this amazing um, bath soap bar. It was by the brand Chunk. Um, they made this soap bar. I love you a whole bunch. It is a vegan soap. And oh my god, I can still smell the soap in the packaging. It is just an incredible scent. Oh my gosh, it smells so amazing. It's with a sparkling citrus and exotic cardamom fragrance. It really does smell like, I can't even explain to you. I love this soap. I will be repurchasing from this brand because it was amazing. I went through a candle, even though it still has like a tiny bit left, I can't light it anymore because it's like a single wick and the wick just doesn't even exist anymore. But it smells so good. It says, joyful, the emotion of great delight that is caused by something exceptionally satisfying. And I couldn't even tell you where I got this candle. Um, couldn't tell you what the brand is <laughs> at all. Pretty sure I got it at like Target or um, probably actually Marshalls. But it smells really good. Um, I love candles and that's really all I have to say. I went through three of these eyeliners because these are my ride or die eyeliners. They are the Kat Von D Tattoo Liners in Trooper Black. And I've already repurchased, I already have a brand new one that I'm using. That's what I have on my eyes today. And it's just an amazing eyeliner. It's vegan, it's cruelty free. All of Kat Von D's products are vegan, which is amazing, 100% vegan brand. Um, so I love buying from her, but this literally is the blackest, blackest eyeliner you can use. And it's vegan, it's amazing. It has a very thin, pointed, precise, end so that it's extremely easy to get a precise wing which is huge for me obviously i love wings um so highly recommend if you're in the market for a good vegan eyeliner i went through two becca products um these are cruelty free this unfortunately is not vegan this was by jacqueline hill it was called Champagne pop. I completely hit pan on it. Obviously it was a highlighter. It was my favorite highlighter of all time to this day um, But I will not be repurchasing because it's not vegan and then I brought I bought this uh, first light priming filter um, Which is a like highlighting primer I would say and it was purple in color and don't let the purple deter you I liked the purple better than I liked the original one. Um, it just gave your face such an incredible shine and I haven't repurchased this yet but I definitely will because I loved it. It was perfect for dry skin and just I think it's great for summer so it's time for me to rebuy this for sure. And honestly, honest to God, one of my favorite products of all time but I cannot repurchase because it is not vegan 
or cruelty free is the Laura Mercier Tinted Moisturizer Broad Spectrum 20 Sunscreen. <sighs> Tinted Moisturizer. Guys, best product I've ever used probably in my life, at least one of them, and it's not, so I really am not going to talk about this anymore because I'm so sad. Um, I went through two different shades of foundation by Tarte. It's their Amazonian Clay Foundation, their full coverage foundation with uh, 15 SPF, which is huge in the summer. So I have one ivory, which I used in the winter. It was great. And then I have one Fairlight Honey, which I am currently wearing in my video right now, which is my shade. It's a little bit darker, so it's good when I have a little bit of a tan going on. Keyword, a little bit. Um, and yeah, it's a great foundation. Perfect full coverage. Um, it is not that cakey. It can start to look cakey later on the day when you've had it on for so long, but that's like any foundation pretty much. Um, but it doesn't have like an oxidization issue, which is huge for me, and white cast is not a thing with this. So it's an awesome, awesome foundation, and I would highly recommend it. And I also went through two of these Tarte Shape Tape Concealers in the shade Light Neutral, which is currently the concealer that I have on me right now, underneath my eyes. Um, and this is my favorite concealer of all time. I absolutely love it. Uh, it is full coverage. You can only buy this at Ulta, um, but it is so worth it. I 100% suggest using this with the Beauty Blender, a damp Beauty Blender, and it just goes on so flawless. And yeah, it is just my favorite concealer ever and I probably will never switch concealers so I'm gonna be completely honest with you so highly recommend if you're looking for a good vegan um, concealer I have two of these that I went through these are the my ride or die um, mascara by Too Faced it's called the Too Faced uh, better than sex mascara and it is the mascara that I have on my eyes right now and I am just obsessed with this concealer um, I'll show you the brush what it looks like if you're not familiar with it so it is both volumizing and lengthening and it's just a great brush and I probably will never buy another mascara honestly and it's 100% vegan and cruelty free so that's awesome buy this guys buy it it will not let you down and then I have this um, product that I've had for a while that I'm trying to use up because all of the products that I have that are not vegan or cruelty free I try to use up since they're already purchased and the damage is already done it would just be a waste to throw them out so I used this um, Dior Dior Show mascara and it was just like a average mascara like I can't even believe the price of this mascara um, not worth it I don't think any some of you might hate me for this, but I don't think any Dior product is worth buying. I don't think any like high-end like brand like that is worth buying. Like YSL, Chanel, any of those. I don't think I don't think they're worth it. I think there's so many other brands that make good ethical decisions um, and make better products. I don't know. That's just me. But maybe I'm being a little sour. I finished this chapstick by uh, She She. Yaleen she shea butter lip balm and apple um and this is a vegan chapstick sorry I like can't talk this is a vegan chapstick it was a good it was actually like not a great chapstick at all I did not like it whatsoever so I would not repurchase I think there's way better vegan chapsticks out there. Actually, let me show you one that I recommend right now. So this chapstick, it is Lip Balm Pure and Simple. The brand is Pure and Simple. It's Key Lime. It is vegan and it is so good. It is so moisturizing and just perfect for the summer when you have dry lips like I do. <laughs> really chapped looks really easily it's not a good issue that I have for sure um, 
but this is a great chapstick that I would recommend to you guys. That's what I currently use. Next product I used up was the Maybelline um, Eye Studio Gel Liner in um, Blackest Black. And obviously I won't be repurchasing because Maybelline is not cruelty free. I also went through the Origins Drink Up Intensive Overnight Mask. Um, Origins is not cruelty free so I will not be repurchasing, but it was a good mask. I went through the NARS Radiant Creamy Concealer that I had left in the shade um, Vanilla and NARS is no longer cruelty free which is extremely unfortunate. Um, so I will not be repurchasing, unfortunately. It's one of my favorite cruelty-free brands and they just sold their souls, unfortunately. I went through the Wet n Wild Color Icon Blush in the shade Apricot in the middle. I absolutely loved this brush. Wet n Wild is a cruelty-free brand. I went through the Anastasia Brow Definer in the shade Soft Brown and what you get is the uh, slanted end on that side and then the brush on this side. And I really enjoyed the brow definer a lot. I'm, uh, that's currently what I used on my eyebrows today, but I am going to be switching back over to the Brow Wiz because... I love how precise you can be with the brow whiz, whereas the brow definer is more of like a bold brow, I would say. Um, but it's a great brow product if you're into more uh, bold brows rather than natural. Um, I went through Urban Decay Vitamin Infused B6 Complexion Prep Spray. So you, you put this on as like a prep spray before you put on your makeup and um, I absolutely loved this product and I definitely will be repurchasing. It just gave a nice shine to your face and really just rejuvenated your skin, which was huge for me, especially in the morning before I'm going to put on my makeup. It's just so refreshing and it was great and it's cruelty free and vegan. I also went through a ColourPop Lippy Sticks in the shade Tootsie. And this is the shade of it. Oh, it's such a pretty everyday shade. And I went through it. I do have to repurchase this. I don't know if this is vegan. I hope it is because I love this color. But ColourPop is a cruelty-free brand, which is awesome. One of my favorite brands of all time. So definitely going to repurchase this one. And I also went through ColourPop's Ultra Matte Lip in the shade Beeper, which is one of my favorites. I already repurchased. I already have another full one. Highly recommend. This is a beautiful uh, taupey, grayish, brownish, purplish shade um, for a night out or even during the day. It just really boosts and bolds up your look no matter what you're wearing. So it's a really good one. And then I went through an essential oil, which I'm huge on. I absolutely love essential oils. And this is by the brand Purify. And, um, sorry, this is by the brand Rocky Mountain Oils. And it is in their blend called Purify. It's a 15 milliliter bottle. It lasted me a long, long time. I just put it in my essential oil diffuser. Oh my God, the smell of this brings back memories because I haven't, this has been gone for I w probably like eight months now I've, I've had this gone. Um, it smells amazing and it really does purify the air and just makes you feel so good. So I would, if you guys are into essential oils, if you don't know much about essential oils, highly recommend looking into it and making sure that you're buying from a good healthy brand like Rocky Mountain Oils. It's a great essential oil company to buy from. I've read a bunch of books on essential oils, so I know pretty much all there is to know. And if you're looking for essential oils, I highly, highly recommend the brand RMO, Rocky Mountain Oils. So check that out. And that'll do it for my empties video, guys. Thank you guys so much for all of you who watched it all the way through and for all of those who just clicked on this video in general and watched some of it. I am so grateful for all of you. If you guys liked this video, please like, hit the thumbs up button right under this video right now. You can pause this video and do it, or just do it before you exit out of this video, please, because it really helps me know what videos you guys like to see and videos that um, 
maybe didn't work out so well. Um, so thank you guys so much for watching. Leave in the comments what you thought about this video if you liked it. Things, videos that you want to see in the future. Things that maybe you would repurchase out of this uh, empties video. And if you used any of these products, let me know what you thought. If we have opposite opinions, same opinions, whatever. If you have recommendations on good vegan and beauty cosmetics, things like that cruelty-free cosmetics, leave that down below as well. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram, JessCristineX3, and have a lovely day. <laughs> I love you guys so much, and I'll see you in my next video. Bye.